was the hardest money conversation you had? And then after having it, what new options were available to you and or that relationship that can give people an insight of why we should be talking about money? Yes. Yeah, so this is definitely TMI, but with my last relationship, my last romantic relationship, when we met, the reason why I was like, all right, cool. Um, like, let's meet up. Let's definitely hang out. Let's start to talk more was because she told me she had a budget. It was like one of the first things she taught we talked about. Whoa. And we totally got money out of the way early. And I told her, totally told her what wow. my plan is and what I want to do. And wow. my love language is not gift giving. I know for many people it's like, it's Christmas. And even I was at the gym yesterday and they had sure. a, they had a the news ticker was, how do you show love for St. Valentine's Day? I'm in Colombia right now. So it was like mm -hmm. Dia de San Valentin without getting into too much debt. Oh, wow. And I'm like, wow, that's crazy. And because people would me, go into debt for Valentine's Day. Yeah, because for <laughs> me, Valentine's Day, I'm like, let's go just hang out all day. All I want to do is hang out all day. I don't care what we do. We yeah. could literally paint. We could write poetry. We could go mm -hmm. play a sport. We could rock climb. We could hike. We could make music. I don't actually care. If you want to yeah. watch all the Star Wars? Let's do it. Let's just be together. Because for me, time, what you're talking about as, as a currency is super valuable. Yeah. And so... I think we just had a lot of conversations early on that solidified yeah. both where we are. And I think mm -hmm. I was able to learn where her past was and how it influenced her and where mine was and how it influenced my present and how we both wanted to build moving forward. And so I, knowing that now mm -hmm. if in any relationship moving forward, that has to be an early conversation because it hasn't been in other relationships. And yeah. then when you move in with someone and you start to buy some things. Now, my buddy sent me a video the other day of this guy who and it looks real and it looks real, but like he, he let his significant other go into target and he's waiting outside and he's like, I'm just going to see what happens. And she comes out after like three hours and she had spent like $800 Stop and the dude, it. yeah. And the dude's freaking out because he's, are you kidding me? Chase was calling me. They thought someone had my card. Are you kidding me? Because he never spends 800 in a one-off on a Saturday yeah. at target. I just think, I think that's definitely helped like my romantic relationships. And then with my mm. friends too.